Welcome to my passion travel channel and I invite you I make content on tourism and subscribe to my channel and put a little like. Triniki, potato pancakes, shredded potatoes mixed with flour, eggs, and onions, then fried until crispy. Triniki are often served with sour cream or a savory sauce. Triniki, also known as Belarusian potato pancakes, are a popular street food item in Belarus. They are made from grated potatoes mixed with flour, eggs, and onions, then fried until golden and crispy. Here's a basic recipe for draniki. Ingredients for medium-sized potatoes, one small onion, finely chopped, two tablespoons all-purpose flour, one egg, beaten, salt and pepper to taste, vegetable oil for frying, sour cream, Optional, for serving, instructions, peel the potatoes and grate them using a box grater or a food processor. Place the grated potatoes in a colander and squeeze out any excess moisture. In a mixing bowl, combine the grated potatoes, chopped onion, flour, beaten egg, salt, and pepper. Mix well until all the ingredients are evenly incorporated. Heat a generous amount of vegetable oil in a large frying pan over medium heat. Take a small portion of the potato mixture and flatten it into a pancake shape using your hands or a spoon. Place the pancake in the hot oil and repeat with the remaining mixture, leaving some space between each pancake. Fry the draniki for about 3 to 4 minutes on each side or until they turn golden brown and crispy. Once cooked, remove the draniki from the pan and place them on a paper towel lined plate to drain excess oil. Serve the draniki hot, optionally with a dollop of sour cream on top. They can be enjoyed as a snack or as a side dish with sour cream or applesauce. Draniki are a delicious and comforting street food in Belarus, loved for their crispy exterior and soft, flavorful interior. Kaladets, a traditional Belarusian meat jelly made by boiling meat, typically pork or beef, until it becomes gelatinous. It is served cold and often accompanied by horseradish or mustard. Kaladets, also known as studen or meat jelly, is a traditional Belarusian dish commonly enjoyed as street food during festivals and celebrations. It is a savory jelly made by boiling meat, typically pork or beef, with bones, skin, and cartilage until they release gelatin. Here's a basic recipe for kaladets. Ingredients, 1.5 kilograms, 3.3 pounds, pork or beef bones with meat and cartilage, 1 onion, peeled and quartered, 2 carrots, peeled and roughly chopped, 2 bay leaves, salt and pepper to taste, instructions, place the bones, meat, cartilage, onion, carrots, bay leaves, salt, and pepper in a large pot, add enough water to cover the ingredients. Bring the mixture to a boil over high heat, then reduce the heat to low and simmer for about 3 to 4 hours, skimming off any foam that rises to the surface. Once the meat is tender and falls off the bones easily, remove the pot from the heat and strain the liquid into a separate bowl, discarding the solids. Allow the strained liquid to cool slightly, then skim off any fat that has risen to the top. Pour the liquid into molds or bowls, cover with plastic wrap and refrigerate for at least 4 to 6 hours or until the kaladet sets and becomes jelly-like. Once the kaladet has set, remove it from the refrigerator, run a knife along the edges of the molds, and turn the jelly out onto a serving plate. Slice the kaladet into pieces and serve it cold as a traditional Belarusian street food dish. Kaladets is typically served cold and is enjoyed with horseradish, mustard, or vinegar-based sauces. It is a unique and flavorful street food option in Belarus, showcasing the country's culinary traditions and heritage. Machenka, a rich and hearty dish made with pork, bacon, or sausages cooked in a thick sauce of flour, cream, and spices. It is commonly served with draniki. Machenka is a delicious and hearty dish that is commonly enjoyed as street food in Belarus. 
It is a traditional Belarusian dish made with pork, bacon, or sausages cooked in a thick sauce, typically made with flour, cream, and spices. Here's a basic recipe for machenka. Ingredients, 500 grams, 1 pound, pork, such as pork shoulder or pork loin, cut into cubes, 100 grams, 3.5 ounces, bacon, diced, 1 onion, finely chopped, 2 cloves of garlic, minced, 3 tablespoons all-purpose flour, 250 milliliters, 1 cup, heavy cream, 250 milliliters, 1 cup, beef or vegetable broth, salt and pepper to taste, chopped fresh parsley or dill for garnish, optional, instructions, in a large frying pan or skillet, cook the diced bacon over medium heat until it becomes crispy and releases its fat. Remove the bacon from the pan and set it aside, leaving the fat in the pan. Add the pork cubes to the pan with the bacon fat and cook them until they are browned on all sides. Remove the pork from the pan and set it aside. In the same pan, add the chopped onion and minced garlic. Sauté them until they become soft and translucent. Sprinkle the flour over the onions and garlic and cook for a few minutes, stirring constantly until the flour is well incorporated and lightly browned. Gradually pour in the heavy cream and beef or vegetable broth, stirring continuously to prevent lumps from forming. Return the cooked bacon and pork to the pan and season with salt and pepper to taste. Stir well to combine, reduce the heat to low and simmer the mixture for about 20 to 30 minutes or until the pork is tender and the sauce has thickened. Serve the machenka hot, garnished with chopped fresh parsley or dill if desired. It is traditionally served with draniki, Belarusian potato pancakes, or bread. Machenka is a comforting and flavorful street food option in Belarus, perfect for warming up on chilly days and indulging in rich and creamy flavors. Kletsky, potato dumplings filled with meat, cheese, or mushrooms. They are boiled and often served with sour cream or butter. Kletsky, also known as kalduni or palmini, are delicious dumplings that are commonly enjoyed as street food in Belarus. They are made with a simple dough filled with various ingredients, such as meat, cheese, or mushrooms. Here's a basic recipe for meat-filled kletsky. Ingredients for the dough, 300 grams, 2 and a half cups, all-purpose flour, 2 large eggs, 120 milliliters, half a cup, water, 1 half teaspoon salt. For the filling, 250 grams, half a pound, ground beef or pork, 1 small onion, finely chopped, 1 clove of garlic, minced, salt and pepper to taste. Instructions. In a mixing bowl, combine the flour and salt. Make a well in the center and add the eggs and water. Mix until a dough forms. Knead the dough on a lightly floured surface until it becomes smooth and elastic. Cover it with a clean towel and let it rest for about 30 minutes. In the meantime, prepare the filling by mixing the ground meat, chopped onion, minced garlic, salt, and pepper in a bowl until well combined. Roll out the dough on a floured surface until it is thin, about 2 to 3 millimeters, 1 eighth inch, thick. Using a round cookie cutter or a glass, cut out circles from the dough. Place a small amount of the meat filling in the center of each dough circle. Fold the dough over the filling to create a half. Moon shape and press the edges together to seal the dumplings. You can crimp the edges with a fork to ensure a tight seal. Bring a large pot of salted water to a boil. Carefully drop the kletsky into the boiling water and cook for about 8 to 10 minutes or until they float to the surface and are cooked through. Using a slotted spoon, remove the cooked kletsky from the pot and serve them hot. Kletsky can be served on their own or with a dollop of sour cream or melted butter. Kletsky are beloved street food in Belarus, appreciated for their comforting flavors and versatility. 
They can be filled with various ingredients to suit different tastes and preferences, making them a delicious and satisfying option for street food enthusiasts. Pie kista, stuffed pancakes, thin pancakes filled with various ingredients such as meat, mushrooms, cheese, or cabbage. They are rolled up and usually pan-fried or baked. Pie kista, also known as pie kisti or Belarusian stuffed pancakes, are a delightful street food specialty in Belarus. These thin pancakes are filled with a variety of ingredients and then rolled up or folded before being pan-fried or baked. Here's a basic recipe for pie kista. Ingredients for the pancake batter, 200 grams, 1 and a half cups, all-purpose flour, 2 eggs, 400 milliliters, 1 and 2 thirds cups, milk, 1 half teaspoon salt, vegetable oil for frying, for the filling, your choice of filling, such as minced meat, mushrooms, cheese, cabbage, or mashed potatoes, instructions, in a mixing bowl, combine the flour and salt. Make a well in the center and add the eggs. Gradually pour in the milk while whisking the mixture until a smooth batter forms. Let the batter rest for about 15 minutes. Heat a small amount of vegetable oil in a nonstick frying pan over medium heat. Pour a ladleful of the pancake batter into the pan and swirl it around to form a thin and even layer. Cook the pancake for about 1 to 2 minutes on each side until it turns golden brown. Repeat this process with the remaining batter, adding more oil to the pan as needed. Once the pancakes are cooked, set them aside to cool slightly. Prepare the filling of your choice. For example, you can saute minced meat with onions and seasonings, cook mushrooms with garlic and herbs, or prepare mashed potatoes with cheese and herbs. Place a spoonful of the filling onto each pancake and spread it evenly along one side. Roll up or fold the pancake to enclose the filling. Repeat this process with the remaining pancakes and filling. Heat a small amount of oil in a frying pan over medium heat. Place the filled pancakes in the pan, seam side down, and cook them for a few minutes on each side until they are heated through and slightly crispy. Serve the pie kista hot as a tasty and satisfying street food snack or meat. Samosa a popular street food snack influenced by neighboring countries, filled with a savory mixture of meat, potatoes, onions, and spices, then deep fry. Samosa is a popular street food in Belarus, although it originally hails from South Asia. Samosas are triangular pastries filled with a savory mixture of ingredients and deep fried until crispy. Here's a basic recipe for samosas. Ingredients for the dough, 250 grams, 2 cups, all-purpose flour, 1 half teaspoon salt, 2 tablespoons vegetable oil, water, as needed, for the filling, 2 medium potatoes, boiled and mashed, half a cup peas, fresh or frozen, 1 small onion, finely chopped, 1 teaspoon grated ginger, 1 teaspoon minced garlic, 1 teaspoon ground cumin, 1 teaspoon ground coriander, 1 half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 half teaspoon chili powder, adjust to taste, salt, to taste, vegetable oil. For frying, instructions, in a mixing bowl, combine the all-purpose flour and salt. Add the vegetable oil and mix until the mixture resembles breadcrumbs. Gradually add water, a little at a time, and knead to form a smooth dough. Cover the dough with a damp cloth and let it rest for 15 to 20 minutes. In a separate bowl, combine the mashed potatoes, peas, chopped onion, grated ginger, minced garlic, ground cumin, ground coriander, turmeric powder, chili powder, and salt. Mix well to incorporate all the ingredients. Divide the dough into small equal-sized balls. Roll out each ball into a thin circle. Cut each circle in half to form two semicircles. Take one semicircle and fold it into a cone shape. 
Overlapping the straight edges and sealing the edge with water, fill the cone with a spoonful of the potato filling, leaving some space at the top for sealing. Moisten the inner edge of the cone with water and press it together to seal the samosa. Repeat the process with the remaining dough and filling. Heat vegetable oil in a deep pan or a deep fryer over medium heat. Gently place the samosas in the hot oil and fry them until they turn golden brown and crispy. Remove them from the oil and drain excess oil on a paper towel. Serve the samosas hot with chutney, yogurt, or any dipping sauce of your choice. Marinated vegetables, pickled cucumbers, sauerkraut, or other vegetables are commonly enjoyed as a side or snack. Marinated vegetables are a delicious and versatile street food option. They can be served as a refreshing side dish or used as a topping for sandwiches, salads, or wraps. The marination process enhances the flavors and textures of the vegetables. Here's a basic recipe for marinated vegetables, ingredients, assorted vegetables of your choice, such as bell peppers, cucumbers, carrots, cherry tomatoes, zucchini, or red onions, thinly sliced or chopped, a quarter cup olive oil, two tablespoons vinegar, such as red wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar, one tablespoon lemon juice, one to two cloves of garlic, minced, one teaspoon dried herbs, such as oregano, basil, or thyme, salt and pepper to taste, instructions. In a large mixing bowl, combine the olive oil, vinegar, lemon juice, minced garlic, dried herbs, salt, and pepper. Whisk the ingredients together until well combined. Add the sliced or chopped vegetables to the bowl and toss them gently to coat them evenly with the marinade. Cover the bowl with plastic wrap or transfer the mixture to a sealable container. Refrigerate the marinated vegetables for at least one to two hours or overnight if possible to allow the flavors to develop and the vegetables to soften slightly. Before serving, give the marinated vegetables a good stir to evenly distribute the marinade. Serve the marinated vegetables chilled as a refreshing and flavorful street food option. You can customize the marinated vegetables by adding additional ingredients like fresh herbs, chili flakes for a spicy kick, or a touch of sweetness with a sprinkle of sugar or honey. Feel free to experiment with different vegetable combinations and adjust the seasonings to suit your taste preferences. Marinated vegetables offer a burst of flavor and make for a healthy and vibrant street food option.